Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics. Today's video is another Proxmox video, and it's one that a viewer mentioned in a comment. It's a feature that's been around a while, but one of our old videos showed you how to set up a Samba share by setting up a mount in the command line interface and then connecting to it as if it was a directory. And it works. That process still even works today. But there's a much simpler way for doing it. It's been around a little while, but we haven't covered it in a video. So today, I thought I'd cover a way of doing just this in the video using just the web interface. So with that, let's get to our video about setting up a Samba share as a storage drive in Proxmox using only your web interface. So I went ahead and created a container right here called VE Video Samba. Now that's not really important, but that container contains our share. Wherever your share is, that's going to be where it is. One thing you want to know is the IP address of your container. And mine is 1010.2.191. And you're also going to need to know your login credentials for your Samba share. So once we've recorded that information, we can go ahead and go off to our data center and we can select storage. Now under storage, we can go up here and select add. And for this dropdown, let's select SMB slash CIFS. This screen comes up. So ID. ID can be whatever we want to call it. BE video. Server. Doesn't really tell you a lot, but it does. So what we enter for our server is 10, 10, 2, or 191. Whatever the IP address is to your share is what you would enter there. Now, username and password. Again, that's going to be configured for your server or Samba share, however it is. So then under share here, it stays red. We have configured everything right. Go ahead, click on the drop down it'll show you the actual information. So my share is called Samba share. And notice it now turns blue. So the last thing we need to do is look at content here. Under this drop down, it'll ask you a bunch of different questions for what you want to use. Disk images, that's a VM image. ISOs, that's the ISO for creating a VM. Container templates, well, that's where container images are going to be stored. VZ dumps, those are your backup files. Containers, that's the storage for your actual container. And snippets. So, a lot of times this stuff's used for backup. So, we can go ahead and select the backup. You can actually select more if you want. Up to all of them, really. It doesn't matter. And then we just select add. Now we'll actually see it appear under our data center dropdown right here. And there it is. All showed up, ready to go. Size correlates to the size of the drive for the actual share. Now you notice there's some space used here. That's the operating system as such in my container. Now if you're using something like Open Media Vault or TrueNAS, that's going to differ how it displays. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video presentation. You found it useful on setting up a Samba share on your Proxmox server using just your web interface. It is sure a lot easier than having to use the command line interface. If you'd like to support Virtualize Everything in their endeavor to bring virtualization content to YouTube, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Also, if you'd like to further support us, check out our merch store at store.virtualizeeverything.com. As always, have a good night.